Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. I apologize for the wind in advance. Here we go. So you guys may have noticed a Chevy HHR sitting off in the distance. This is a customer's vehicle that we had done some work on uh, way back in the fall and it's been an uh, unfortunate set of circumstances that they haven't been able to pick up the car. Anyways, today is the day that we pull it out of the snowbank, get her started up. We're gonna see if she'll start on her own power after sitting here for several months. So, let's see what happens. Probably ice in there. She got some power. Some. Maybe. Clicky, clicky. Well, looks like we're gonna have to dig off the snow. Get that. Try and get that hood open. I guess. <laughs> yeah, careful. <laughs> The booster cable's on, she should be good now. As long as she don't blow up. Jeez. That's pretty easy one. Even sounds good. Yeah. Well, chalk went up to Chevrolet. It sat that long in the cold. The engine did start once we got the battery connections all figured out. And it didn't even hammer, knock, anything. Where'd it go? She's frozen in the ground. You try turning the steering wheel. She froze. No, we get get this wheel thawed out. Chiseled out, it should be all right. So there is the Chevy HHR. We've got her inside here, got the battery on charge, and hopefully once uh, the battery's all charged up, this thing will start on its own, and it'll finally be out of here. So the other thing I want to talk to you guys about today is on the 2010 Mazda Tribute. We did get the valves in, all of them, all 16 of them, and everything back together, and it runs and drives. There's a few extra things that we've got to do to it to get it back uh, on the lot. So we're kind of plugging away at that. We do have an AC compressor where the bearing is gone in the clutch. So we've got a used compressor we're gonna put into that. And there's a couple of sus uh, suspension parts that we've got to work on. And, uh, you know, finish getting some touch-ups done to it so that we can uh, get it onto the lot. The other thing that I wanted to mention to you is a new addition to the old car auto sales fleet. And it's hidden just behind the shop truck. And 
that is going to be revealed in an upcoming episode and it's going to be something that's going to help us in the future so i'm not going to tell you what it is right now i will leave that for a future episode so you guys can tune in and leave your guesses in the comment section down below as to what you think might be hidden behind the shop truck and there's old sad sack bubbles all covered in salt and I wanted to show something to you guys there's the inspection sticker remember how I said I thought it was ending in April yeah it's not it expires in March so our deadline to the demise of bubbles is very quickly approaching so we're down to about uh, five and a half weeks left of driving on this thing legally and uh, then we're gonna have some fun so in a video that went up on Monday because Monday was a holiday family day in that video I had mentioned to you guys that I am in search of a couple of parts for my wall art project now some of the small clips that I need to fasten the headlight buckets into place are on their way. I should have those really any day now. But the grill is something that I'm in need of. I thought I had one. The one that I have was broken, as I recall. But I'm thinking I must have thrown it out. The other things that I'm looking for are the two front turn signal lenses. Now, in that previous video, I had mentioned that I needed the driver's side. Well, it's not the driver's side that I need. It is the passenger side. I would take both either way because the ones on my car now are at the point where they are a little bit cloudy and cracked just from 40 years of aging. So if you guys know of anybody who has an old Cordoba junk, please reach out to them and see if they have any of those parts that they would be willing to sell and ship to me. I'm more than willing to pay fair price for them as well as have them shipped don't forget on Thursday evenings we have our live stream and our live stream I say our because I share that as a co-host with Grant Tommy who is straight six fan and his information as always will be right here and we talk about cars we talk about automotive news we talk about some tips and tricks on how to improve our YouTube channels in hopes that it might help somebody else grow in the future. So we call it a subscriber hangout and we refer to it as the Car Guy and Six Fan Show and that is its exact intention is to help subscribers come in and learn who some of these new guys are that are in the chat and uh, that they go over and subscribe to those guys and follow them and start supporting their channels just like they're supporting ours. So I hope you can tune in on uh, Thursday evenings it is uh, a live stream that starts at 7 o'clock Central 8 o'clock Eastern and 9 o'clock Atlantic time which is local time for me hope you guys can join us and we hope to see you there also t-shirts and hoodies are still on sale at bonfire.com that is the first link in the description box below and uh, that is one other way that you can help support this channel and uh, and show your support to uh, Old Car Auto Guy. So I would really appreciate it if you could head on over there and pick yourself up a t-shirt and or a hoodie. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the comments. Each video that I post, the comments are getting more and more abundant. It's so fun to be able to interact with you guys and see that you guys are following my channel and, uh, and reaching out and, and taking the time just to say, you know hey or comment on the video so thanks for doing that and uh, I look forward to many many more we are ever so close to 700 subscribers as of right now the recording of this video we are at 700 sorry 690 subscribers my subscriber base has been building very very quickly the last few weeks so if you know of somebody who is an automotive enthusiast and who would enjoy watching what I do, please share this video, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you so much.
thank you for everything. We'll see you in the next upload.